Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. welcome back. I'm working on multiple videos, but sometimes things come up. The next big one that I'm working on is covering all six base fragments with the six aspects that are out, how they work together with the subclasses for stasis, but I'm stopping to make this one right here on a brutal warlock super build. Out of the gate, it's a monster, and the best part is you can run it bone dry and have amazing results, but you can take it further. With different exotics, builds, charged with light, it's amazing. First, I'm just gonna run some clips. You can get a super in about 15 seconds or less, and you can get them in less than a minute, fairly consistently in PvE if the scenario calls for it, so check it out. This is the Warlock Stasis Shade Binder. You do need the second aspect unlocked. The aspects are Ice Flare Bolts, Shattering a Frozen Target, Spawn Seekers that Tracks and Freeze nearby targets. The new one is Frost Pulse. Casting a Rift generates a Shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. With these two aspects, you're allowed four total fragments. The four fragments that we want are going to be Whisper of Fissure for increased damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. Whisper of Refraction, defeating a slowed or frozen target grants you class ability energy. Whisper of Bonds, defeating frozen targets with weapons grants you super energy. Then Whisper of Hedrons, grant a bonus to weapon damage after freezing a target with stasis. It's 25% more damage for 10 seconds. Just with this, with absolutely no mods, it could just be blue base gear, like right here, this combination puts in massive work. With how it's all working together, though the bond states you need to get kills with weapons for more super energy, melees are granting huge chunks as well. You're gonna drop your rift in a group of enemies, you're freezing multiple targets at one time. When you defeat them, you get that huge chunk of super energy. And when this happens, you're getting the 25% more weapon damage from Hedrons, you're getting your class ability to get your rift back, meanwhile the other aspect is finding new targets to freeze and damage to get more super energy. You also have the dust field. That's going to be on standby to eventually freeze targets and you have the charge melee to freeze your targets. It continues on and on by shattering and doing it over again. If you can get into groups, you drop that rift, but if you can't, you throw the grenade at a distance, it brings them close together, eventually they're going to get frozen, make sure that they're frozen, you then down them for massive super energy, but let's go a little bit further. What's so nice is that bare bone, it's top tier, it's amazing. But you can do things like adding on something like Nezirak Sin, and remember, you don't need to be on a Void subclass, you just need Void kills. This could be from the Gravlance, it could be from the Falling Guillotine, it could be Gnawing Hunger. Getting kills with Void weapons is giving you that Rift melee and super energy, it's expediting the process, and honestly, I've just been running around with the Guillotine, getting back to back sword kills, back to back to back, just to give it a little bit more of an edge on a cooldown. You can use something like the Necrotic Grips. On your helmet, you can have hands-on, so you gain more bonus super energy on melee kills, running around freezing, shattering with the melee, and what ends up happening a lot of the time, as you keep going and going, the bolts are finding new targets, it's freezing them, and then immediately they go down because of the poison. And as they go down, Fissures has increased damage, and it extends out further because they're frozen. It's brutal. You could run Winter's Guile, Claws of Ahamkara. One of the most interesting ones is actually the Vesper of Radius. You throw down a Rift, and it instantly is going to down the adds because the Vesper releases an Arc Shockwave when you cast it, and you get Rift Energy back when you kill frozen targets, and you're going to get Rift Energy when surrounded by enemies. It's a perfect match. For your mods, there are so many avenues you can do things like Energy Converter. While Charged with Light, your grenade attack grants you super energy consuming all stacks of Charged with Light. Maybe Charge Harvester to get you Charged with Light with all the shatter that's going on. You can use Heavy Handed. This mod allows you to regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability. And a big one is since all these enemies are frozen, you can start looking into Thresh weapons. Maybe you have the new Heritage Shotgun like this one right here. Maybe you have Nezirek Sin and the new Royal Chase Scout. 
It's Void, so that gets Nezerat going. You get more Super Energy for kills because it has Thresh. And you get bonus Super Energy for killing Frozen Targets. And let's remember, with all this going on, after you kill any Frozen Target, you're getting 25% more bonus damage for 10 seconds. It's absolutely nutty. Ruinous Effigy comes to mind. And I've kind of been all over the place because there are near endless things that you can do. Mods to pair up with, exotics to run. I just want to talk about the base setup. But here are some things I do recommend, though. On your class item run distribution, reduces all class cooldowns when using your class ability in nearby enemies. This pairs with getting class ability energy back when you get kills on frozen enemies. Maybe you pair this simply with the stag. And remember with the stag, it grants rift energy when you're critically wounded, and on death it creates a healing rift. Stasis has really taken some less to use exotics and making them some real contenders. And after distribution, I found a lot of value with more super energy from melee or grenade, mostly melee. And from there you put on stacks on stacks, taking charge, and then a big charge with light mod. That could be heavy handed, energy converter, lucent blade. But the base barebone setup is so strong, you can let your mind wonder. The biggest thing about getting the most super energy is how many enemies you freeze. If you're in a large group, you can end up with half of your super energy, and all these little things that we talked about, like Nezerak, is just going to add on top of that. The best thing to do is find a whole group of enemies and try to freeze them, and then down them. That's the number one priority. You can take it various routes to become even better. So let's talk about it down below. What setups can you come up with? We can share and learn from each other. I have more videos coming up this week, but this one needed some special attention. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and you can use my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about this. What do you think? Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.